So in summary, this paper um, is a meta-analysis or rather a pooled analysis of data that we um, uh, have from several phase three trials um, that we performed in CLL. So this analysis um, also comprises um, over 2,000 patients and um, these patients were treated with chemoimmunotherapy with FCR and BR. Um, and uh, in this analysis we wanted to see whether there are differences in the outcome of patients who have different modes of progressions. So what we usually observe in the clinic is when we have a patient that shows signs of progression, there are some patients who progress on uh, an increase in lymphocyte count and other patients who progress with, uh, with indolent lymphomas, so with indolent lymph lymphadenopathy, um, but at the same time they are having normal blood count. And from what we've seen in the clinic, and these were just anecdotal experiences, is that patients who develop recurrent lymphadenopathy tend to have a more aggressive course of disease, in contrast to patients who have, to, who have um, an increase in absolute lymphocyte count, who usually have a more indolent um, uh, course that takes um, often several months or years until they really require new treatment initiation. So we wanted to see whether we can um, reproduce this in our clinical trials and see whether this, this clinical observation um, can be based on any clinical data. And what we saw is um, first that patients uh, who have an increase in lymphocyte, to in, in lymphocyte count as a mode of progression have a longer time to next treatment and um, in unfit patients even a longer overall survival than those patients who have uh, a progression by lymphadenopathy. Um, and we observed this in both fit patients as well as unfit patients. And this observation might indicate that when we have a patient in our clinic that progresses on either of these two modalities, we sh can estimate how the course of the disease will be. The analysis has of course limitations because at the time of these trials and during the follow-up of these trials, the novel compounds like, like BTK inhibitors and, and BCL2 inhibitors and all of these compounds were just emerging in the clinic. So um, that's why maybe the data on overall survival might, might change over the course of, of, of the next years. And also as these treatments or these, this analysis was based on chemomunotherapy, we don't know whether this observation can be also made with targeted agents. So this is something that needs to be observed in, in, in different clinical trials.